Okay, I got this question. What is the point of skipping galaxies? Don't we want to experience them all in the end? Okay, first of all, there's a limit of 16,000 base objects per save and a 3,000 upload limit per base. So if you build five bases to the upload limit, that's 15,000 components that you've already hit the limit for your save. Now, I'm pretty sure you know, the, uh, if you watch my other video, the number of galaxies is 256. And I also, uh, 255 that are available. And 256, if you know somebody, in 256. Now, so you can see, uh, now you can see here, there's 256 unique galaxies. So uh, if you have 15 saves and you have five bases per save, that's, um, that would be 75 galaxies. So obviously you can't do a full build in every galaxy. Now, uh, so the first reason is just build limits that you would limit the number of bases in a given save. The uh, next thing is time. It takes uh, a lot of time and it's kind of repetitive going to all 256 galaxies through the center and setting up bases, especially if they're bases that you really want. So instead, you know, you could play the main story a few times. You could do it differently a couple of times. And uh, you can take advantage of resetting the system at the end there to skip some galaxies to get down your bases. Now, if your bases are spread out, if you're going to have limited bases, then at least it will give you close access to the other galaxies for when you do want to go to them. Also, suppose some coordinates pop up that you want to use. They only work in the galaxy that you're in. So if you want to get a particular item, like say um, this spaceship here, uh, it would depend on what galaxy you're in. Here it's in Euclid, so it's straightforward. But there's definitely interesting finds in other galaxies, and so you're going to want to have access to them. So you have to balance the number of bases with the number of galaxies you have access to. There's, there's lots of reasons. Um, I'm answering Rune Garden's question here. There are lots of reasons why you would want to skip galaxies. In this video, I, I just mentioned the number of bases you have, uh, the amount of time you have, uh, taking advantage of the main storyline. You get to play it in each of your saves once. You can take advantage of that skipping the galaxy in order to spread your bases out. And, I mean, to be honest, you want to experience them all in the end, but, uh, you know, you, there's more than you can look at in a lifetime. Now, the last thing uh, is, is just sheer number. The lower bound for the number of star systems, according to this, is 52,000. And the upper bound is 158,000. If you're going to explore every planet, and we're not even talking about planets, if you're going to explore every galaxy, and each planet takes can take hours to really explore and scan everything. 
uh, you're, if you just say an hour per star system to do some quests or whatever, that's 52,000 hours in the game. Um, I have, I've been playing for a while and I have like 2,000 hours in the game. So to, uh, to be honest, Rune Guardian, um, you can't experience them all in a lifetime. And the thing that I laid out in this video are how to get to the empty star systems, um, the empty galaxies. And since a fraction of the empty planets were changed to the exotic planets. And um, you, you're more likely to find the exotics and the extreme exotics in the empty galaxies from what I can tell. So that's why I selected the empty galaxies. And it's really going to take thousands of hours just to do my method separate from exploring everything in the game. So I, I hope that makes sense on why you would want to do this method. Rather, um, and you could explore later the whole thing. This gives you a foothold spread throughout the galaxies so that you can get to the other galaxies. Your furthest distance from any galaxy in this method is 14 warps. Thank you for watching.